Hey guys, can you hear me? Today, we are somewhere in our universe far from home. We are here trying to find a thing that even though we cannot see it, amazes me and many others. Yes, I'm talking about black holes. So they are called black holes because not even light can travel out of the gravitational well. Wait, I think I found one. You cannot see it? Oh yeah, obviously. So let me share the secret with you as to how humans find black holes in space. So first technique that we use to find black hole is an indirect technique. When a star or just gas orbits a black hole, you can see the effect of black hole on that object. Let's take an example. If you see a star or even gas orbiting empty space, then obviously there has to be something that they are orbiting. And if that object has mass three times that of our sun, then it can be a black hole. For example, in the core of the galaxy NGC 4261, there is a brown spiral shaped disk that is rotating. The disk is about the size of our solar system, but weighs 1.2 billion times as much as our sun. Such a huge mass for a disk might indicate that there is a black hole present within the disk. So for the second technique, I'll take an example. Many a times in a two star system, one of the star dies, becoming a black hole. So now because of the immense gravity of the black hole, stuff from the other star starts falling into the black hole. And the falling material heats up up to millions of degrees because of friction between the material. And when stuff heats up to millions of degrees, it emits X-rays. And this can be detected by X-ray telescopes, which are orbiting our Earth because X-rays don't penetrate in our Earth's atmosphere. Let's see one more idea which helps us find this mysterious wells in space. The main idea of Einstein's general relativity was objects warp and bend space-time. So object with immense gravity like black hole, if they come between Earth and the distant objects like stars, so the starlight then gets bent. Because of the distortion of space-time by the black hole, and black hole then acts like a lens. To make things clear, I'll put some images. This is how the technique called gravitational lensing works. You can see the difference in the two images. In the first one, there is no black hole, focusing the image of star to us, and in second, there is. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. I make a new video every Thursday. Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! If you want to watch my creations, you can click here. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.